Today is National Nurses Day, and this year, nurses are being honored and appreciated more than ever. First News anchor Stan Boney talked with nurses at Mercy Health Hospitals about what their jobs have been like lately. Emily Schrader works in the ER at St. Joseph Warren, Mary Beth Crozier in the ICU at St. Elizabeth Youngstown, and Christopher Batchelder in an intermediate unit at St. Elizabeth Boardman. This afternoon, I talked with them about nursing during the coronavirus. It's been a lot of adapting, a lot of changing, being flexible, and um, you know, striving to find new ways to do our jobs effectively. It's just been constant change, adapting to the situation at hand, collaboration between all entities. We come into work every day not knowing what we're going to see. So as nurses, we're really good at adapting and overcoming things. Emily and Mary Beth say they still go home to their families, taking all precautions to keep them safe. But Christopher Batchelder has decided his children should stay with family. Because you don't know what you might have been exposed to, even if you feel like you know, you've been safe. With no visitors allowed in hospitals, nurses have also become the direct links between patients and their families. We are fortunate enough that we have a Zoom, much like we're doing now, that we can connect those families with the patients that are here. We make a plan to where the nurse actually calls the family and gives them updates. Nurses nowadays have also been added the titles of heroes, and these three anyway are grateful for the acknowledgement that they've been given. Everybody's expressed a, a lot of gratitude and, um, you know, I feel like I'm just trying to live up to that. The amount of support that we're getting is, you know, we're so blessed to have the community behind us. It's nice to have the community support, the outpouring of gifts and things to help us get through each day has just been so gracious. Their words can't even describe it. Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.